So we're gonna start out on a dove hunt. Now, the dove hunting down at the G2 Ranch is over the top, is all I can tell you. And then we're gonna wind up going for Nil Guy. And if you don't know what a Nil Guy is, you're fixing to find out. Nice! South Texas hunt right there, boy. Come on. Well, howdy everybody, Keith Warren here, and this week the high road takes us down to Pearsall, Texas, into the G2 Ranch, where it's going to kind of be a different show. We are going to be going after something really small. Got him. And something really big, and I promise you, you're going to like it. It may be the middle of summer, but this is a place that uh, you want to be if you're a hunter down in South Texas. Well, howdy. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Hey, hey, hey. We're good. Well, good. Good to see you again. Good to see you Keith. too. Welcome Hi, back. Man. Welcome see back. Good yes. to see you. Good to see you. Okay, everybody. This is Don, and he's the boss man. Where's the boss lady? She's at home. She didn't make his trip. Well, Dad Gun, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can't come down here without meeting Sandy. I mean, once you meet her, you'll know why. Don and Sandy Gilchrist are the owners of the G2 Ranch, and it's because of them they put together a wonderful team of like-minded people that work their tails off and make adventures come true for people like us and for people like you. Okay, here it goes. What a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Thank you, Lord, for this, and thank you, G2 Ranch. <laughs> God, Mosey. Congrats. Thank you. God dang, that was amazing. There we go. <laughs> that was a sky buster job there. Woo! Yeah! So let me tell you about who we brought down here. We got uh, flying in in his helicopter is Quint. Quint is with the Bluff Ranch. We go to the Bluff Ranch every year and uh, we're really good friends with them. And, and of course the pilot, the helicopter pilot, he's Tim. They like peanut butter and jelly stuck together like this. And then we've got James Sellers. James is a guy that he's with the Selmark Corporation. And you may think, who's Selmark? Well, it's Pulsar, who has the greatest thermal equipment there is. And also Sightmark Optics, which you see us use all the time. Then we've got Charles Allen coming down, okay? And Charles is with Diamond Blade Knives and Knives of Alaska. And Charles didn't come down alone. He brought his little hunting buddy, Bo. And Bo is a heck of a good bird dog. Now I wanna tell you, now we've gone down there twice, dove hunting, okay? The very first time we were down there, uh, it was early in the season. It was white wing season. Oh, 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 oh! You almost caught that one, almost. Look at him right here. Cutting back around, cutting back around. Nice. They were everywhere. Millions upon millions of them. And what they do down on this piece of property is they plant these fields, these big, huge fields with sunflowers. Okay, these sunflowers are attractants for the doves. And so early in the season, if you book a hunt, the odds are you're gonna be going down for white wing doves. And then later on in the season, the primary doves that we're killing are morning doves. Long chokes, use them, because they're going to be a little high. Let's have a good, safe hunt. Be ready to go at 3.30. We're out here early. The birds haven't started yet, but when they start flying, hopefully we're going to get busy in a hurry. Oh, look, he's going down. Boom. Here we go. Got him. <laughs> That's the way you start. you got to start with one. Oh! Atta boy. <laughs> good boy. That's a good dog. All right. Wow. Nice. All right. Well, let's keep going. and they are bombing us now. Here we go. Got him. Hey, 
Oh, Tim, don't try to get my bird. Don't try. You're welcome. <laughs> Catch him up. Good dog. Yeah, that's a good boy. Here we go. Just like that. Oh, yeah, baby. South Texas hunting right there, boy. Come on. Stick with us. Because coming up, we're going after something really big down here at the G2 Ranch. We're going after Neil Guy Antelope. Atta boy. So when you take a good close look at a Neil Guy, I think they're the most interesting looking animal there is. I mean, they've got a long tail on them. Their shoulders are, are higher than their rump. They've got a smaller butt deep in the chest. They've got this mane on them, a, a goatee. I mean, their horns aren't very big. Even on a big old bull, they're not very big. And uh, their, their vision's incredible. Neil Guy, even all the way down to the hooves, Neil Guy just look cool. And, my exposure to Nilgai uh, goes back to a long time ago. My very first exposure to Nilgai was down in South Texas, and uh, I fell in love with them. I mean, they're the most incredible animals. I mean, I wound up taking a nice old bull. These guys are unbelievable. They, they have got some senses that you won't believe. So I decided out here, we're gonna combine my passion for Nilgai with viewers' passion for the 50 BMG, and so that's what we're gonna do. So here we have a target putting up at 100 yards. This has got a bull elk on here. Elk is about the same size, more or less, as a nil guy. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Shooting the gun that I'm shooting, <laughs> I don't know if I can afford to shoot five shots. So I'm gonna shoot one shot. If it's on, I'm gonna call it good enough because I shot it yesterday, but just confirming zero. I can live with that. So guide me on this trip is uh, the number one guide out here at G2 Ranch, Glenn Halley. My name is Glenn Halley. I'm the ranch manager at G2 Ranch down here in Pearsall, Texas. You know, prior to uh, Keith showing up, uh, he had asked me to put out some Reconyx cameras just to kind of capture what was coming into the fields. Uh, they've been hammering the Lab Lab fields, so um, we should get some pretty good stuff on the camera. Oh, you don't have to go to the gym. After you carried around 35 pounds of fury. All right, everybody, this is a 50 BMG, and it is a badass rifle, okay? Look at that cartridge right there. Is that not badass looking? 750 grains, we're gonna send down range and hopefully hit a nil guy bull and knock him on his butt. So, anyway, y'all stay do the tuned. Trick. It will do the trick, and we're fixing to show you. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna load this guy up and see who walks out. I'm ready. Boy, that's a big Elon right there. How old do you think he is, Glenn? Oh, he's, that Elon's probably five to seven years old. He big. tall you think that even is the top of his back the big one he's got to stand at least five feet oh at least six I mean, foot i was gonna say six that is amazing an he's animal off. that big just appeared that's a nail cut bull and a young bull there another bull coming in behind him oh yeah all right we got two nail guy in the field here They can flat cover some ground. I mean, you look at them and you take your eyes off of them. They've walked 50 yards by the time you look at them again. Here comes females and a, another bull, a good bull behind the females. See, oh yeah, guys, look at him. He's a good bull, but he's he needs another year. He's probably a four-year-old. But you can tell by looking at his color, he's darker. Look at the little ridge on top of his back, black like that. Yeah. Isn't he pretty going through there? Now the sun's getting nice. It's cooling off nicely. 
Jeez, I had no idea y'all had this many nail guy. Look at the wildebeest down there in there with them. A lot thickens. We get in our lap. Look at this. They're getting right on us. That is so cool. Look at that. Golly. They run so cool. It's like they lope. You just don't see that. Nobody's got footage like that. Nobody up no guy. Wow. They're all right now about 130 yards. Good. Good. The chip shot for the 50 big man gun. If they see us, they're out of here. You just don't see this kind of activity. It's like no guy everywhere you look. Look at him chasing him. God bless. That is cool. My gosh, look at that. Yeah, we're out of light, but let me tell you something. That was the best nail guy set I've ever had. All combined, everything all added together, and I've hunted nail guy a lot. And I will tell you this, I saw more activity in the last hour and a half than I've seen in 20 years of hunting for nail guy. It was amazing. We just need an old bull to come by. Let's be back here first thing in the morning. I think that's a great plan. That'll work for me. Okay. Let's ease out of here. Good shot. He's going. He's going down. He's going down. Boom. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, the 50 BMG is a man gun. I call it the big man gun. Look at that <laughs> smoke coming out of that cartridge. Wow. <laughs> that he was. All that oh my gosh. I mean, they are incredible animals. I mean, they've got unbelievable senses, and we just got lucky this morning. What do you think about that? Let's go and see what we got now. I can't believe it. Totally I can't either. Atta boy. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the 50 BMG does it again. All right, so after many long hours of uh, hopping around this deep South Texas brush country, we have finally got our prize right here in front of us. What do you think? We do have a prize. <laughs> 
And I mean, I hit him perfectly, and he still, I mean, it rocked his world, but uh, he wasn't able to get out his food pot. But I'm telling you what, they can take some lead. Okay, but Nilgai are cool animals. They were uh, brought to the United States from India and Pakistan back uh, over a hundred years ago. And they have, uh, they've done well. They can, uh, they cover ground quickly and they're just cool animals. I mean, they're smart, they've got it all. I mean, they've got great vision, they've got a great nose on them. And I think that they just look cool. I mean, look at the horns on this guy. I mean, they're not real big, but this is a nice, respectful sized bull. I mean, he's, he's dark in color. I mean, look at the coloration on the ears and then the, the little tuft of hair up here, kind of like a, you know, up on, on his back. It's, it's just cool, the long tail on them. Look at the coloration on their legs and they're just neat animals. You come down to South Texas and there's a lot of places that uh, you can go hunting, but there's only one place like the G2 Ranch. With, I mean, uh, they've got it going on, a wonderful lodge, wonderful people, and uh, we've got a direct link from our website at highroadhunting.com right over to the G2 Ranch. Just uh, log on to it, click it, and get a hold of them. You'll get a hold of Glenn, talk to him personally, and he'll be able to handle anything you need to do. Thank you, sir. That was fun, Keith. Uh, that was fun. Now, uh, now the work starts. And I am going to help. <laughs> Ooh, I like that rifle.